Hello everyone. Welcome to Get My Harvest. In today's video, you will get to see my herbs, spices and medicinal plants area. I usually grow those plants in my patio. I will also be covering five herbs or spices in greater detail. But before we dive in, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. Well, if you haven't, then please do and click the bell icon so that you can get notified on my next video. While I'm growing curry leaves, tulsi, cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaf and a lot of other spices in my garden, today I'm going to cover just five of them. The five herbs or spices that I will be covering in this video are rosemary, cardamom, bay leaf, lemongrass and basil. The first herb on my list is rosemary. Unlike many herbs which live only for one season, rosemary is an evergreen shrub. It likes well-drained soil and loads of sun. So I make sure that I keep it at a very sunny spot in my herb garden. It can be propagated from cuttings. Two to three inch cuttings can be taken with a sharp pair of scissors or pruners. And cuttings have, have to be taken from the soft part of the plant. From, you have to look for branches that have soft wood for instance this one here and then take the cutting and you can grow the cutting in water the second herb on my list is lemongrass I have grown this lemongrass from seed the lemongrass is known for citrus flavor or scent the plant needs to be protected from winters so I will have to take this plant indoors um, when the winter set in and make sure that I'm keeping it at a spot which re receives some sun. The plant takes four to eight months before it can give a harvest. It also requires well-drained soil, plenty of water, plenty of sun and it propagates naturally once it gets established. Lemongrass has a very good fragrance. I like to add it to my lemon tea early in the morning. The third plant on my list is cardamom or elaichi as we call it in India. I have grown this plant from cardamom seeds with the same method that I have mentioned about using the, the seed trays and coco peat. The plant starts bearing the cardamom pots after two to three years. The plant requires soil which should be rich in humus and it doesn't like winters as well. So this plant will also go inside when the winter sets in. The cardamom leaves make for a beautiful addition to drinks and salads. Bay leaf, tejpatta or laurel leaf is actually a tree but one can reduce its growth by growing it in a container or a pot like the one that I am growing in. This herb or spice doesn't like cold weather so it has to be brought inside when the cold sets in. This plant can also be propagated from stem cuttings. Make sure you water your tej patta lesser in winters, otherwise it will die. Basil does best in well-drained moist soil with a neutral pH. The plant does well in warm environments which receive at least 6 hours of sun every day. So I keep it in, the, in an area which receives full sun. Try watering the plant at its base, so don't water it from the top because the leaves will get spoiled. The basil plant uh, requires a lot of water, so I would recommend using a self-watering pot for growing basil because if you forget watering the basil, it will get spoiled. I have already done a DIY demo and a complete video as well as a blog post on self-watering pots. So I I'm going to share the link for that video and the blog post in the description as well. This is the patio where I grow most of my herbs, medicinal plants and spices. You can see that I grow these in pots. The chair there is the one that I sit on to watch the rising sun because this is um, an east-facing balcony.
This is my favorite herb, the holy basil or tulsi. I have pruned it to make it bushier. My very own curry leaf plant or curry patta. If you remember, I have already done a video on uh, propagating curry leaf uh, from cuttings and seeds. This is a plant that has been grown from cuttings. I'll be sharing the link for the video on curry leaf in the description below. Now this is a herb with a very interesting smell. The leaves smell like clove, but then um, I don't know the name of this plant. My research tells me that this is clove scented basil. Do you guys know the name of this plant? Please share in the description below if you know it. Friends, one of my favorite dishes is pesto pasta. And the pesto sauce is made from basil. Please let me know in the comment section below about the herb or the medicinal plant or the spice that you would like me to cover in greater detail. And if you're there on Facebook, that's the link for our Facebook page. Go there, post pictures of your experiments and projects with gardening. We'll be happy to see you there as well.